In the realm of classic television, Gomer Pyle, Usum stands as a timeless emblem of the industry, leaving an indelible mark on audiences that resonates even today. What enduring qualities does this series possess that elevate it to an everlasting symbol of the television landscape? As we delve into the heart of this beloved show, consider whether there is a specific scene or moment that has left a lasting impact on your own viewing experience. Perhaps it's the unwavering sincerity of Gomer Pyle or the humorous camaraderie within the Marine Corps setting that has etched itself into your memory. Before we explore some random facts about this iconic series, we're curious. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Gomer Pyle? Uzzuk. We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some intriguing tidbits about the show. Did you know that the character Gomer Pyle, portrayed by Jim Neighbors, was originally introduced in another classic sitcom? Before donning the Marine uniform, Gomer made his debut on The Andy Griffith Show, showcasing the character's undeniable charm. Moving beyond the trivia, Gomer Pyle. Osik skillfully blended comedy with a genuine portrayal of military life, earning its place in the annals of television history. The show's unique charm lies in its ability to elicit laughter while capturing the essence of camaraderie among the recruits and the challenges they faced. Before we wrap up, share your thoughts on the enduring qualities of Gomer Pyle, Ascent, and your personal connections to the series. We look forward to reading your stories in the comments below. And that's the scoop on this timeless television gem. Gomer Pyle, Ozick, a classic 1964 television series, emerged as a spin-off from The Andy Griffith Show, finding its comedic roots in the bumbling character Gomer Pyle. Originating in the fictional town of Maybury, the show's premise shifted when the lovable, naive Gomer, portrayed by Jim Neighbors, enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. Transporting the character from small-town charm to military discipline, the series blended humor with patriotism, creating a unique dynamic that resonated with audiences. Gomer's endearing innocence clashed hilariously with the rigid marine environment, giving rise to iconic moments and characters, notably the tough but fair Sergeant Vince Carter. The show's enduring popularity lies in its wholesome humor, character-driven narratives, and the timeless appeal of Gomer's unwavering optimism. Its impact on popular culture is evident in the enduring affection for Gomer's catchphrases and the enduring image of the affable Marine. Gomer Pyle Usum stands as a testament to the sitcom's ability to navigate diverse settings while maintaining its humor and heart, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Jim Neighbors, discovered by Andy Griffith in a Santa Monica nightclub, originated the role of Gomer Pyle on The Andy Griffith Show. The 1964 TV series Gomer Pyle, also a spin-off from Griffith's show, shifted its comedic roots from Mayberry to the United States Marine Corps. Notably, in a Season 3 Griffith episode, Gomer's induction into the Marines was portrayed differently than in the regular series. Despite the military backdrop and the ongoing Vietnam War, the war itself is never discussed in the show. The series managed to blend humor with patriotism as Gomer's innocence clashed with the rigid Marine environment, creating enduring moments and characters. Its impact on popular culture is evident in the lasting affection for Gomer's catchphrases making it a testament to sitcom versatility. Gomer Pyle, a beloved character from a 1960s TV series, earned an honorary promotion to sergeant by the U.S. Marine Corps Commandant in 2017. This iconic show, renowned for its humor and heart, stayed in the top 10 for all five seasons, maintaining a top three position for four of those seasons. Notably, Sergeant Carter, a character in the series, was a Korean War veteran. Despite its military backdrop, the show never delved into the ongoing Vietnam War. Gomer Pyle's enduring catchphrases and the endearing clash between innocence and the rigid marine environment have left an indelible mark on popular culture. This series stands as a testament to sitcom versatility and continues to be celebrated for its enduring impact on television history. The show received attention for not addressing the Vietnam War directly. Fans wondered why the character Gomer Pyle wasn't involved. Producer Aaron Rubin sought guidance from the Department of Defense, and the Marine Corps Commandant's response was to keep Gomer in the US to maintain the show's humor and avoid the serious realities of the war. The decision reflected the belief that Gomer would be safe from danger within the country. This creative choice preserved the lightheartedness of the series, steering clear of the grimness of the conflict overseas. Gomer's rank evolved within the show and even received recognition beyond it. 
While Gomer's highest rank during the series was Private First Class, Jim Neighbors, the actor behind the character, received honorary promotions from the U.S. Marine Corps. In 2001, he was honored with a promotion to Lance Corporal and later in 2007 to Corporal, acknowledging his connection to the military through his portrayal of Gomer Pyle. The show's end was influenced by Jim Neighbors' decision to pursue a musical variety show, The Jim Neighbors Hour, after five successful seasons. Plans to continue the series or transition it into another show were considered, but didn't materialize when key cast members opted to join Neighbors in his new venture. The complexities surrounding the Vietnam War, Gomer's evolving rank, and Jim Neighbors' career aspirations all contributed to the eventual conclusion of the show, marking the end of a significant era in television history. In a curious production oversight, the initial main title sequence featured a 49-star S flag, a historical anomaly as Alaska had become a state for only a year before Hawaii joined, prompting the adoption of the 50-star flag. The oversight slipped past notice until the show transitioned to color for season two, necessitating a complete reshoot with the correct flag. This seemingly minor detail led to a significant change in the iconic opening sequence. The absence of dog tags on the servicemen throughout the series might strike a keen eye. A Marine not wearing them while on duty technically veers from protocol, a subtle deviation in the portrayal of military uniformity. A poignant revelation from Jim Neighbors sheds light on the emotional weight behind the show's opening. Neighbors found it difficult to watch as many of the men marching alongside him were later lost in the Vietnam War, adding a somber layer to the seemingly lighthearted introduction. These lesser-known facts about the series' details and emotional impact offer a deeper perspective on the nuances behind the scenes of the iconic show. As the curtains draw near on our conversation, I encourage you to ponder the impact that the timeless series Gomer Pyle, Uzzik has had on your life. Perhaps it ignited chuckles during your childhood afternoons or sparked cherished discussions among friends. This show, a gem from an era of classic television, resonates for various reasons with each viewer. What anecdotes, lessons, or scenes from the series linger in your memory? Your unique connection to Gomer Pyle. Usyk is a tale waiting to be shared a snippet of nostalgia or a moment of revelation that deserves recognition. Let your thoughts flow freely. Relish those moments that made you laugh, ponder, or even shed a tear. It's in these reflections that the true essence of this remarkable series comes alive. Your story adds depth to the legacy of this beloved show. Thank you for investing your time and thoughts into revisiting this treasured piece of TV history. Your engagement keeps the spirit of Gomer Pyle, Isaac alive and thriving.